Hey YouTube, um, this is Y2 Eagle again. Today I'm gonna do a little video on the, um, how to connect the automatic transfer switch, which I went on the internet again and I could not find not one video at all. But anyways, I bought this um, IOTA Engineering, a 30 amp. Um, automatic transfer switch. I got it on eBay. It was actually a year ago when I got it, but since I could not find figure out how to hook it up, I finally did it myself, figured it out myself, and I'm gonna make a little video because I'm sure there's somebody out there that wants to um, do the same thing I did. But my, my goal is to put this switch on my living room and my TV, so when I have my battery power from solar power coming into the house it goes into that transfer switch and it gives power to the upstairs but when the batteries go low and it shuts the uh, inverter down that's when it switches over to the grid power um, anyways it's, it's, it works pretty cool uh, I'll show you how it works and everything how it's hooked up um, I just did a kind of simulation. It's not really hooked up to the power because I wanted to show you guys how to how to do it. Anyways, um, and let's begin. Okay, here is the uh, <clears throat> automatic transfer switch I got. Um, I got a two dollar. I think I paid a dollar for this LED light, which is pretty cool. It didn't have a power supply, but I made my own, and it works excellent. Um, I have a 12 volt battery right here, and I also have a 400 watt power inverter. And of course, I have my power over there. Um, the grid time. <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry, grid power. Um, first of all, what I'm going to do is open this up. And I'm going to have to explain this a little bit here because it's a little confusing. <coughs> okay, see if you guys can see this. Okay. This is the inside of the uh, automatic transfer switch. And what I did is actually, I'm actually using this wire, which is these two right here. That one and that one. That I'm going to use as a uh, uh, the, you know, to plug into the grid, the power. And then I also have a black cable, which is right here. And this one actually goes to this main uh, cables, which is actually, um, it's two configurations. One, if you want the power from the batteries to come in as a main source then you plug it into here but if you want the grid power to be the main source and if the power kicks out then it switches to battery power then you want the other way around um, but I like to keep it as my battery being in my main power if the battery kicks out I mean if it goes low too low where it shuts the convert or inverter down then it switches over to the power uh, the electricity uh, anyways there's a little circuit board right there and it's pretty simple uh, now down here at the bottom right here is where you connect your uh, you know, where you're going to plug your source which I have put a, a little extension cord here if you can see that's where I'm going to plug the, the lamp and that's where actually your 30 amp fuse goes on your panel right here so that way you can power whatever room you're in and um, but anyways uh, let me show you how I hook it up okay I'm gonna grab the black one because I want the battery power to be my main source so what I'm going to do is pull out the battery, 
and make some sparks. And then I'm going to plug my lamp on the uh, extension cord. <coughs> and believe it or not, this actually should kick on in a minute here. Uh, it should click uh, in a minute here. It should detect the source, power source, and then. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> First, you got to turn this on. And. And you don't have power. What's going on here? Okay. Uh, this thing's sparking for some reason. There it goes. Okay, right now it's going to detect that little circuit board. It's going to detect the power source, which is the battery source. Yeah. Um, it's going to come in in a minute here. Unless I plug it in backwards. There it is. Okay, there's our power. Now, let's say for instance, now this cord, this goes into the electricity, which I got in. Uh, adapter here. Let's plug it in here. And it's alive. So, let's say my batteries are running out low and the inverter actually shuts down. When it does that, the little circuit board detects it and says, oh wait a minute, I don't have no more power coming from this, so I gotta switch it over to this power. So basically it's an alternative power source. Um, I'm gonna shut it off. This is the battery. We're running on battery right now, by the way. This is actually pretty bright. Um, so now what I'm going to do is shut it down right here. And you can see it click. There it goes. Now, if I take this battery out, we're actually running on that. On real electricity. Now let's say my batteries come back up, charged up again and the inverter kicks back on then you'll hear it doesn't switch automatically right away it, it, it has to detect the power source now watch this turn it on right now it's still on electricity and then sooner or later it'll click on and you can see the difference right about now any minute there it goes okay now there's a little green light inside there that is telling us that we're on the uh, the main power which is actually uh, the main source like I said you can crisscross these guys switch them around and you can have the other way around uh, you can have the main power be the main but if the electricity goes out then it'll switch this and I can actually show you how that works um, I'll just switch them around, put this one here, then the black one over here, and turn it back on. Okay, now, as soon as this comes on, it'll switch over, and you'll see the green light. Okay, that is actually the power from electricity right now. Now let's say let's pretend the, the power goes out. Um, if it goes out, that means this will happen. Switched over to the battery. So now see, I don't have no power at all. It's going straight to the from the battery. But anyways, uh, like I said, it's a it's a simple switch. Um, if you can see the diagram is actually on the back of the cover here and it's a very simple um, it says right here if you're doing I don't know if you can't see this or not no it's too blurry but anyway it says typical inverter alternate source goes here this is the diagram now if you want the typical generator and power cord here but I went with this 
configuration and I just can't wait to put it in my living room so my solar batteries power will actually power up my living room and when the batteries go out it'll actually switch over to my actual power upstairs I mean to the um, which I need to show you something also This is the fuse I'm going to actually put in. I'm going to take the, the cable that goes out of there and put it in place of that black cable. Or the white cable, I'm sorry. And and then the this guy on the other end will actually go on the extension cord side. Of course, I'm not going to use the extension cord or all those cables. I'm just going to replace them with the regular uh, approved cables. But um, anyways, um, I guess that's all for today and I uh, hope if you have any questions just let me know I'll be glad to answer them uh, if you need diagrams or anything let me know uh, thank you for watching and talk to you later